that's what's going on. And, and very often on people with the uh, iTunes of the and uh, not buying a lot of CDs, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, and uh, even thinking that probably my next album maybe we won't be released in, in, uh, in, uh, on, on CD. But now the, 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 the fact that uh, we can also uh, uh, get rid of any, any support, something that also goes with the time, goes with the kind of uh, music we are all doing. So do you have any current favorite artists, like all the new young dance guys right now? Do you know any names, or is it just something you follow them over? Is it to the particular sounds of people? Or? No, I think uh, it's always unpleasant for people we don't mention in the kind of, uh, after this kind of question. <laughs> but I, I just we think about different people, such as, for instance, Bass Nectar. I, I'm, I'm in, uh, in the trap of that scene, as we know. Uh, people such as Zombie, and also, uh, uh, also people such as Fab Buttons or Geta Fetchstein. I like very much the, the kind of dark, quite dark mood uh, of, uh, of his uh, work. And obviously, don't listen to what I'm saying. And obviously, I mean, I'm not saying this because uh, he's there, but just for a very specific uh, reason. I always consider myself as, uh, as doing some trans music before the genre was, was, uh, was starting. And when I, I, I listened to the first uh, uh, track from Armin, I, I really considered him as a kind of almost young brother, in a sense. <laughs> <If I did. laughs> well, you know, trans music was usually inspired by you. I know many, I speak to many trans producers myself, and I have a weekly radio show. And a lot of trans producers were inspired uh, by you. Are you a trans music fan, really, per se, or not so much? No, I mean, actually, uh, I mean, I would say that almost trans is part of my DNA. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, trans music is also coming from. Uh,